Alexander Scott. Ah, Mr. Scott. Yes, yes. The colleague of Mr. Robinson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, please, to go inside, sir. No, no, just let him know I'm here and get my car. I'm not dressed for this bag. Dress? Yes, You're a perfect dress. If Lenin himself would come, you, he would embrace as the proletariat. Come, okay. come. All right. Stefan is the pride of Bulgaria. His name already is famous. And now, the award for the outstanding musician. Stefan Petkov. Thank you. And now, the award for the outstanding athlete in the Bulgarian Cultural and Sports Festival, a champion of tennis from the United States of America, Tell you, Robinson. Listen, give me some Bulgarian to throw on. Well, I don't know that much. Well, some. Oh, okay. Um, it uh, is uh, Chista uh, Yabanya. Hey, it's beautiful. Indeed. Eta yes, Chista Yabanya. Banyo. <laughs> American, it's uh, such humor they have. <laughs> Got some humor. Yeah. Oh, right, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very kind of you. Certainly. Okay. Wonderful. Certainly. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's my... What was so funny, anyhow? You said, congratulations on your bath. I want to thank you at this time for really embarrassing me in public. I told you all the Bulgarian I know. I guess so. you did it there. Sir, I watch you play and you are very well. Well, thank you. I've listened to you play and you are magnificent. Sure. Okay. Listen, you hang on to this for me, will you? Because before we get overrun all together, I'm going to get myself uh, danced. To dance yourself over to the car because I'm going to get it. Oh, your car? Oh, Dimitro will take care for you. Oh, I will meet you at bar, and we will drink toast, rocky, and uh, milk. We will tour champions into uh, everlasting friendship. Okay. How come you guys never gave me one of these?
Paris. Oh, wait, wait. Tell me, you, you, uh, you get the salute, I get kisses? That's because you're the lover. I'm the proletarian. <laughs> okay. Thank you, fellas. Well, tomorrow, back to Greece, and I am glad. <laughs> I hope so. Get back some of that good feta cheese. Yes, sir. We did a bit, though, man. Yes. We played a little tennis behind the curtain. Maybe we parted it a little bit. True. And you may tell them, when they ask, that they love me in, uh, what was it, Plodiv. Yes. If anybody asks me, I will tell them. They're bound to. Yes. <laughs> Please, sirs, it's more serious that I speak with you. Listen, what are you doing out here in the woods all by yourself? Must not chance anyone to see us. You take car off road, please. I will wait over there. what I ask is much, that you take me to Greece with my sister Maria. But if from you there is no help, never will I escape. Listen, it isn't that we don't want to, uh, not just the three of us involved, you know, uh, governments, you know, both ours and yours, and international repercussions. And repercussions, that's when you have a small thing that starts and then bigger things come out of it. That I wish to be free is such a small thing. Well, now, listen, <clears throat> if you're gonna start feeling choked up over every <clears throat> hard luck story that you hear, then you might as well go be a, join a Peace Corps, be a social worker or something. Hey, man, uh, listen, there's, a, there's no argument to it. Uh, I, well, I'll just tell the kid to blow. I'm serious. I'm serious, too. How come you can't tell when I'm serious? You realize what people get around here for just trying to take out coins, little currency? Imagine what we would get for taking out a, a national prodigy? Besides, what chance would we have even getting to the border? No weapon. Plus, uh, patrolled roads past military checkpoints in an American car with a hot kid? What chances would we have? Zero. Zero, exactly right. Not only that, we got to go back to the hotel in front of everybody and check out before we go to Greece. Yeah, we can't leave behind the dirty laundry and a couple of suits. We can't do it. I am not going to argue this thing with you. There's no argument, man. Just tell them. <clears throat> Stefan, we just, we just can't do it. The answer is, uh, Definitely. No, uh, is no. If you help me, I will give you all I have saved. Ten lebs. Oh, ten lebs. Isn't that one? Uh, how much is that? Well, roughly, it's eight dollars and fifty cents. Oh, sure it is. That's what I probably. Oh well, that puts a whole different complexion on the entire thing, Stefan. By the same token, of course, we wouldn't want to uh, make a profit off of you. That wouldn't. I just expect you to share uh, your share of the natural expenses of the gas and the oil and the sandwiches, you know, that kind of thing. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, you don't know when I'm serious. I always know when you're serious.
us any, not too many, but a few. They probably already missed us at the hotel, but uh, they don't know where we are or why. They've undoubtedly missed Stefan. It's our empty pockets. As you can see, there's none of the money that's uh, that's your kind of money. Uh, the papers are okay, right? Papers okay? The paper? He said the papers are good. Smiled a lot. Take one of these for yourself. And uh, let's see. We have no luggage at all, except this little thing. And uh, well, what do you say? I want you to open the trunk. Oh, of the car. The trunk of the car. Yeah. Well, I guess I will then, eh? Hope you do. And while I do? Uh, while you do, I'll take care of the lover on the telephone. Very, very good thinking, sir. Okay, you're right there. One, one or the other of these. I don't know which one it is, but I'll, I'll try them both. look for us. Don't worry about a thing. We'll breeze right through it. But how is possible? Well, uh, my friend, Kel, tell him the plan. Yes, yeah, sure. Well, the plan is simple. Yes. The plan is, see, what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is we're going to go right on through. Yes, barrel through. Come on, step on. Get in the car. Start, it won't start. Hold it, come here, come here. We must have been bugged the whole distance. How in the world did we ever manage? Hey, listen, the motorcycle. Courage. We're leaving behind $4,000 of the United States automobile that we're signed out for. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm sick and tired of being shot at. And you can bet your sweet life and your bill. There it is. I can feel us moving. We're moving now. 
Well, he's got a plan. He's going to get all of us. We're going right in the Svalengrad. Don't worry. Not to school. Let a reaper. Товарищ, проснулся? Да. Доброе утро. Да. Замечание. Айде, айде. Айде. Стройдеска на платформу. Айде. Айде, айде. Hey, I'll just be on the boulders there. Grease. There's a Bulgarian border post in there someplace off to the right. They're gonna spot us quick as we walk out of these caves. Yeah. Unless the bushes are hide us. Please, not cold. Tell you what, listen, you two make a run for along in here, if you can. As soon as I draw their fire, if I can. government vehicle, property number A2543-2976, was abandoned due to engine failure. Principals crossed the border into Greek territory at 0535 this date without personal contact with border authorities. Now, if you gentlemen will sign this statement, please. Mr. Scott. Mr. Robinson. I know you gentlemen are exhausted. However, regulations state specifically that documentation must be made by the principals involved immediately. I would appreciate it if you would Shh. sign this statement. It will make my job that much easier. Come on, I'm awake. Shut I've up, been baby. awake for seven. If I'd have just woke up ten minutes earlier, I'd have caught that dog. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm in possession completely of my limited faculties. If you don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> you go to Washington now? You don't. Hmm? You don't. I beg your pardon? You're not uh, going to Washington. <clears throat> yes, well, we were told that there was going to be a press conference for Stefan when we got to Washington. That was before. Before what? Before Bulgaria broke the story this afternoon. Shook all the glass in the UN. They claimed the boy was kidnapped by U.S. agents. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi there, Russ. I thought uh, you only had your hay fever in Rome. Uh, Rome and Athens. Must be allergic to antiquity. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Hmm. I thought you left me. No, no. There's a young lady outside who wants to speak to the boy. She claims she's his sister. He's Maria. Must see. Not quite yet, son. I believe it is my department's function to take care of the girl, sir. Your department can get an embassy car and have it stand by at the rear entrance. And that is all. Uh, uh, and do it now! <coughs> <coughs> Kelly. I think you better speak to the young woman. I'll brief you and Scott at the hotel later. I'm taking charge of the boy. 
If you please, Kelly. Tell him I must see Maria. Kelly will explain everything to Maria. Now, don't worry. Don't worry about it, Stefan. But it can't do any harm. You tell him. Please. You and Kelly, you are my friends. Yes, we are your friends. Now, if we are your friends, then you have to trust us, okay? Stefan is but child still. A little boy, lonely and afraid. I am his only family. And I have not seen him for many years. Well, you will see him within a couple of days. Uh, as soon as, uh, you know, the legalities of custody and so forth are straightened out, it uh, means a lot to governments. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's always so. When mighty government decide, there is nothing one can do. Yeah, I'm afraid that's about it. You say that Stefan is well, safe, but warm, clean. He has toothbrush, he has clothes. He sleeps? <laughs> yeah, I promise you faithfully that I myself will take care of all that personally. I will bring what he must have for comfort. Uh, where is he kept? Well, I'm going to be at the King George Hotel. Why don't you gather up whatever you want him to have, give it to me, and I'll see that he gets it. Okay? Your car, Mr. Robinson. All right, thank you. Uh, goodbye, dear. What else, Maria, say, Kelly? Well, she promised to bring you some clothes. Then will let me see her? Well, I tell you, Stefan, now, when Mr. Harrison gets to the hotel, you are no longer our responsibility, you see. He belongs to you. You will be friends. But it's not yet. Please, my friends, I have to think on it. Before we go hotel, you take me to her face to street. Where is Maria's shop? I have not seen sister for so much years. No good, Stefan, no good. We can't do it. Mr. Harrison says no, and he's the boss. <laughs> hello? Hello? Call, calling him, calling Stephen Petkoff. Uh, he's not in there. Where did he go? We put him in the clo... Oh, there hey, he is. Hey, hey, hey. Why don't two birds hit the sack? Stefan and I have a plane to catch in the morning. You two look like you've been dragged under a door. Oh, well, well, we have been. This kid has never taken a shower before, and he stayed in there about 200 years. <laughs> I hope you a good night, Mr. Harrison. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Russ, please, people are trying to sleep all over the hotel. Get in. Good night. Mm -hmm. Glass of water or what? Where will you be tonight? Well, we're going to be in uh, in the room here. The door will be unlocked if you ever want us in. And make sure you come in and see us first thing in the morning before you leave. Is anything bothering you? No. Well, now listen. Mr. Harrison is here. We're over here. Okay? Don't be shot, May. It means until we meet again. Just to you banya, which mm. uh, congratulations on your bath. Yeah. the border. We told him that he's safe and he's free, but he doesn't know what safe is. He doesn't even know what free is. It's like trying to describe a color to a blind man. 
You know what I mean, Kel? Yeah. Stephen, you better go to sleep now. Stephen. The door, you idiot. Inside and outside. Fear, fear. Oh. Mm. I am finished. Who yeah. said? Who said? You're finished when I tell you you're finished. I'll take more pictures in the boys' room. Here, you. You measure. Measure every inch. Now stay on the floor and study the floor. Every inch. Sir, the, uh, the, the pajamas that the boy was wearing are still here, also all of his clothes. He had to get some clothes somewhere. I don't understand it. Now, only a few people know uh, that, that he was here. It's Harrison, uh, two people from the embassy, you mm. and I. No, unfortunately, there was also his sister, Maria, whom I told that if she wanted to get close to him, I would be staying here, and she might have put two and two together. <laughs> Silence. Silence. My brain is a very sensitive instrument. How do you expect me to make it work if you're making so much noise? Out, 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 out. My men suspect that I am brilliant. And the louder I shout, the more certain they believe. Here, rest yourselves. Sir, unless we get a wiggle on, they're going to have that kid across the border. We got the border covered. Yasu, your health. And now, where did this thousand dollar bill come from? Probably fell out of the sky. I vote for that killer. How about you? All right? We got one rich killer. Now, uh, where does your sister Maria live? You know, Stefan said, uh, <clears throat> in the car, he said something about uh, she had a shop in uh, Heffa. Oh, I bet Heffiesto Street. Oh, it's a very sexy place. You can get anything there. But I do take clothes to you. I look for number. I start to knock on door. And man is standing near. He asks what I want. I tell him. And he say, you sleep, and he will take clothes to Stefan. The man talk English? No, Greek. Very bad Greek. He's little man, little hair, little eyes, great mustaches. 
Did you hear Stefan cry out or anything? No. I go away, down hall. And then I hear the, 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 the man, he said to other men at door, fest, must be at Roma Nagura at 10 hours. We got 15 minutes to get to the Roma Nagura. You know what they will do to Stefan in Bulgaria? They will not care he is child. All right, I'm ready. Listen, uh, I'm gonna hang in here for a while. Well, you don't believe the girl? If she's lying, she can't do nothing about standing around. And if she's telling the truth, somebody ought to stick around. Uh, she's the only one that can figure to kill her. Scott, come on. Oh, uh, Kelly, uh, your theory is maybe okay. But your motives... <laughs> You're a very sexy fellow, eh? violin case could be Stephens. What is it? Outside, the window. The men I see at hotel. play it. My friend is American. And you know how Americans are crazy about music. Play it. We're running out of time. Where's the boy? I know nothing. Mr. Yanis Papayorio, as one Greek to another, let me give you a little advice. Americans are very impatient. They talk very fast and very honest. I know only... Men give me vi violin case, say go to Roman Agora, wait a 30 minutes. If nobody comes for you, then go to Liano Clavi bar, give violin case to girl at counter. She give you 200 drachmas. I, I swear. My permission. Your bed hurt? The man, he say I speak of him, they will kill Stefan. I don't understand it, man. I cannot leave you alone for one minute without you having to make out with the girls. Now get out. Goodbye. Hmm. No, listen. If I need, I tell you right now, I don't need anything. So just get off, please. Hey, You'll leave. Yeah, we'll give a little help there. I, I don't need any help. Please. Sorry, to no help. Your game. Actually, I don't need any help. <laughs>
love a man likes his work. Hey, Sarkis, is this a private party or can anybody join? Yes, who can it? How I plan? Gentlemen, contrary to Bulgarian accusations that Stefan Petkov was kidnapped and contrary to the diatribes launched against my government in United Nations debate and contrary to the invective in the communist press, Stefan Petkov's defection was a simple choice of freedom over servitude. Therefore, my government categorically rejects all demands for the surrender of this brave youngster to the tyranny from which he's fled. Thank you. Sirs, I, I ask for protection. I have been taken from my country by force. I am held here against my will. I want to return to Bulgaria. Please, help me. Help me. I'm like Zeus sending thunderbolts across Olympus. Ah, I'm out of my way. I relieve you. I'll take charge. My friends, I worried so much about you. All day I am drinking. I bring Rezzini to cheer you up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, you boys, you got a lot of trouble. House arrest on foreign ministry warrant for kidnapping, illegal entry, and assault. I think we're in trouble with your government. You're to listen to ours. Conned by a rotten kid. There's no such thing as a rotten kid. Rotten agents, but not rotten kids. I pause for trumpets to blow. Yeah. You got took. In the morning, the embassy is going to hand over Stefan to the Bulgarian authorities at the border. Well, Stefan wanted to leave Bulgaria. And now he wants to return. There's something that he came here to accomplish, and he's accomplished it. Well, why not cross the border with a passport? Why all this elaborate hocus-pocus anyway, for heaven's sake? He must have had something that he knew he couldn't get past the Greek border inspection. Mm -hmm. Like thousand-dollar bills. Yeah, like thousand-dollar bills to pay for what? Mm-hmm, and then return with it. And what better way to return than to... Embarrass the United States in front of the whole world. Yes? Right. And you know how easily we found Stefan after they took him away. We were led by our noses. We were the 
counted on it. They counted on us being gullible and soft and murkin and just becoming emotionally involved with the kid. You certainly didn't disappoint him any. I am a direct descendant of Aristotle and Plato. And I could see a hole in the logic. Yeah, so do we. But if the Bulgarian government wanted Stefan to escape, then why did they darn near kill us trying to get across? There's a question. There's, there's a big question. Uh, <clears throat> listen, Zarkas, I mean, we can't do anything sitting here. Why don't you, why don't you let us go? <laughs> My friends, do you know what this means, Vladimir? Vladimir means love for self-respect. Now, Stefan challenges you to take him over the border. You have Philadelphia, and you accept. Now you are challenging me to let you go. I have Philadelphia. <laughs> but as much as I love you like brothers, this, this I, I cannot do. I cannot do. Zark, we got to get to Maria. You know. Listen, man, we got to get to Maria. We gotta stop this kid before he takes back over the border, whatever it is he's gotta take back. Zark, come on, give us a break, man. Hey, Zark, give us a break. Man. <laughs> you want to bust it in? Yeah. Uh, but, sir, we don't have a gun. No, no. no. Courtesy Bulgaria. Is that right? Yes. Should I do my little bit? Do your number. No time for preliminaries, honey. We're looking for money, U.S. money, a lot of it. Now, where is it? That is no money. It's not enough. You have lied before whole world, have kidnapped my brother. Yeah, your brother. If he's your brother, Ho Chi Minh's mine. Come on, get over here and sit down. Stay put. Big squeal. Kill them, Constantino. Kill them. Notice no bullet holes behind me at any time. You're probably wondering why. It's because of the big red S under my shirt. Oh, man, it's blanks. Yes. There's all the things flying around blanks. No wonder we weren't getting hit coming out of Bulgaria. It's flying these blanks. I think it's wonderful that we've given us all this money, though. Now I am totally confused. Yes, I hope they're not blanks. Well, this feels tough, man. We counted over $500,000. Washington's been notified, and the Greek government's in accord. These gentlemen have been cleared. Came in. 
And where the merchandise was supposed to go out. 500 grand. $500,000 that your government wanted to pay to have this thing stolen. This, uh, what do you call this? Missile device. Heat seeking detonator. Yeah. Did you have any idea that that's what you were doing? That you were bringing the money out and taking it? Yeah, you knew, all right. You know, I have the most overwhelming desire to spank you, turn you over my knee, and whip your until you're black and blue. And I don't need much excuse. Why don't you just turn around and go on playing your fiddle? Come on, let's get this thing back in the safe. I am. I am like soldier. I do not choose what is my duty. It's like war, and your country is enemy. When we win, we'll be peace. We'll be plenty. I have been told that Americans live on lies. I will take back knowledge with me that it is true. You'll take back something else, Stefan. You'll take back uh, memories. Because the mind's a funny thing. It plays tricks on you. It remembers what happened, whether you like it or not. And you will remember Scotty and me. I hope. Charged for breaking house arrest, withholding evidence, carrying unregistered weapon, and with and uh, dragging police officer. Uh huh. I got an idea who's behind this. Yeah, Alex! Alex! I'm using this delicate instrument and asking myself which comes first, duty or friendship. And being a Greek, I've decided that we go to a very sexy place and get very drunk and talk it over. <laughs> All right. 